Hi, welcome to PR Tech Talk. Renaissance just released a new version of the FSP, the version 3.0. This is a major new release and this includes the Microsoft support for the Azure middleware and RTOS. So we go to the Renaissance page to download it. You can also download it on using the GitHub, but we're going to use the, the Renaissance web page in this instance. So in the Renaissance web page, we go for product, Renaissance RA. And here in the middle, we see the flexible software package. Uh, there it says something about the Azure Autos, the Threadex, the NetDex Duo, the UX, USB UX and the GUX uh, for, for graphics. Uh, so you're not limited to uh, this uh, Autos itself. You can use any Autos you like, uh, but it's included now also this Microsoft Autos. So we go with the download for the latest FSP. Here you need to enter some of your details. The download has started, it's a 1.4 gigabyte, so I will fast forward this section. Download is done and I recommend that you install it with administrator's rights. The starting to unpacking, uh, it will also take some time, so I will also be forced forward in this episode. Okay, so now there need to be some special attention here. Uh, you can upgrade your former installation, but they do not recommend it. Uh, it tends to be messy. So I strongly recommend to make a new installation. And you can make a quick installation if you want. Checking all the prerequisites. Accept the terms and the software agreements. Here you get greeted with the flexible software package documentation and it's a very good reading so take your time to study this one or at least know where to find it when you need it. After you install the eSquare Studio, I do recommend that you make a reboot of the computer to have a nice startup. So we start up eSquare Studio again. And we have now here a special uh, workspace indicating which uh, FSP we are using. This normally I just close. Okay, so this is done. Uh, just wanted to make a small Blinky project to see if, uh, to verify that everything worked as it should. Uh, so we go with Renaissance RA. Give it a name. Here we see it's FSP 3.0.0 and which port we have connected. In my case, it's an KRA2L1. So there is not much change from the old version cosmetically. So we just generate the project. We build it. So 
start of the bug. So we launch. Let's go studio download the code into the microcontroller and we hit resume twice, first once and then the second time. And now the LEDs are blinking that you can see on the LEDs. Okay, so we have installed the FSP 3.0. Some hints are keeping the path to where you install the tools short. Uh, try, if not pos if possible, uh, to make a clean installation and do not upgrade an already version of the FSP. Uh, also, after the installation, make a reboot on the computer just to be safe. Happy coding and stay safe. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, hit some other videos if you are interested in more of these. Uh, there are several in my playlist.